So it's Friday, March 19th. Let's see how things are growing here today. These are my flats of peppers and tomatoes that are now sitting in the natural area. You'll notice that I've got the uh, variety labels in each cell and I find that this is really helpful. Once the plants get really crowded it can become confusing separating them out. These are some flowers that I'm growing in herbs and uh, there's some tomatoes right there. Let's take a look at the lettuce here and the beets. So these are the beets that I'm um, planted in the plug flats and they look really good. Uh, my cat's driving me crazy here. These are the lettuces that I've transplanted. You can see that these are some of the red leaf varieties. And here's some red Russian kale that's in amongst the beets. And uh, if you recall, this is lettuce that I planted using the dense planting method. So I had 15 to 20 seedlings per pot. Separated them out uh, maybe a week, week and a half ago. And these are now growing 8 or 9 plants, maybe up to 10 to a 4 inch pot. Here are the Cherokee purples that we transplanted the other day. They're in the garage uh, recovering from their uh, insult. I ended up with 30 plants in 4 inch pots. And here are the smaller ones that are now recovering. And the only thing we've got under the lights right now, these are my uh, last tomato plantings. Uh, some replants of things that didn't germinate very well. And this is the tray of pretty much all of the dwarfs that I'm going to be growing. And I'll get these lights lowered in a little while. The only other thing I wanted to show today is uh, how the garlic is doing. And I planted this garlic last, late last fall. Two varieties that I get from Johnny's, um, Ajo Rojo and German, uh, I think it's German Large White or Winter Hardy. And I think I planted 66 cloves and ended up with 66 plants. So this is my first experience with garlic. Looking forward to harvesting it and see how it does.